Yes, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. It depends with where we are watching us from. Today, we walk from East Africa to West Africa, from Kenya to Nigeria, from the rurals of Kenya to the rurals of Nigeria. We walk into the tunnel of life of a man on a mission, a daring, ambitious man from Nigeria, serving as a missionary, a spiritual missionary in Kenya. Here is a man who serves as an example to the society. A man, a happy man enjoying life, a priest, a spiritual, and a man on a mission. A mission to change the life, to change the mentality of people. And walk with me to see what he faces in the life, what is priesthood according to him, what challenge he meets on the way, the obstacles he has escaped in this life to come out from Nigeria to come and serve the many souls in Kenya for salvation. See what inspires this man, the challenges he faces, the joys of his life, and where he serves at the moment. Take you through this life of this Reverend Father, a spiritual missionary working in Kenya from Nigeria. Journey with me as I take you through this life. Karibu sana. So maybe you tell us who you are, where you come from, and what you are doing in Kenya now. Oh, um, actually, uh, my name is uh, Father Callistus, okay, CSSP. I'm from Nigeria. Originally, I'm from the province of Nigeria, Southeast. And uh, of course, in Nigeria, we have four provinces that made up spread and families in Nigeria. We have Southeast, Southwest, Northeast, and Northwest. And they are from the southeast part of Nigeria. Okay. Yeah. Okay, welcome to Kenya. This yes. is Kenya. Thank you. And I hope you enjoy your life oh, here in well. the ministry. Very well. So maybe you tell us something about your family background. Oh yeah, I, I am I am born in a very sound Catholic family. You know, Catholic family, a family of eight, but unfortunately I lost my sister when I was still in high school, and then my dad when I was still in formation. Yeah, but then I was surviving eight children and my mom. Yeah. So I'm the fifth child. You are the fifth, yeah, fifth. Yeah. And we hope they are fine now in Nigeria. Oh, very fine. They very enjoy fine. you being away. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I hope you have found a family also here in Kenya. Yeah. As we say, wherever you are. That's where your family is here. Yes. I hope your family is here. Yeah. 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 So where did you go to school? Oh, I started my, my junior seminary uh, with the Spirit House. I started with the Junior with Iyana. Okay. That is Spirit on, on the seminary. So after my uh, junior, which I started at far back, uh, uh, somehow, that's somehow 2004, yeah, yeah. started then till with from junior age, we had a personality, uh, philosophy, novitiate, theology, and be here. <laughs> yeah. So when were you ordained? I was actually ordained last year, August 19th. It was yes, last year. So I'm actually just getting uh, very soon one year. My okay. Yeah. okay, okay. So I hope we celebrate together. Yes, definitely, yeah, definitely. First time, first time. <laughs> yeah. So how was your formation? Oh, formation is really a sweet one and a uh, very, very enticing one, a memorable one. You know, uh, one of the things you definitely miss as a priest is the, is the life in the seminary. Life in the seminary is always a very beautiful one. When you have your conference, when you have your friends, you started from junior seminary to there, you will miss every one of them. So, formation was so good, so nice. It was kind of auto formation whereby you form yourself. You give yourself the best you can give yourself. Yeah, that's it. We normally say everybody has his own experience yeah. on mission. Yeah. Where did you do your uh, pastor? Oh, my pastor was actually, I did it in the seminary, but when I did it, yeah, mm -hmm. I still did it in the school where, where I passed through as a junior seminary. Okay. That's in Bolivar Junior in Tijara. I did it in 2018, 2019. Mm -hmm. yeah. Probably, uh, if 
father can listen to see my to be my age match. <laughs> if I was ordained, then I would be ordained with him the same year. Yeah. Because if he did his pastor in 2018, 2019, that is exactly the year he did his pastor. was ahead a year, or one year ahead of you. Because I was supposed to do my pastor in 2017, 2018. But because of the documents, uh, he had to do it in 2018, 2019. So, Father, you are now a baby, yeah, priest. Yeah. <laughs> Who chose the mission for you? I chose myself. <laughs> you just wrote there. You know, it was no, 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 no. They don't choose now. Nowadays they change. Yeah, from our states, the general, the general, the general council okay. of the congregation now uh, change the way the mission should be chosen. No longer the time you choose the contract which you want to do, but then you write your carries and things you feel like you can do. Yeah, you can, you can do things you, you are told. And the report also it goes with the report that the us write about you. Okay. Yeah. So what did you choose? I actually choose for Because I know they were three or four. Yeah. I actually choose uh, 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 primary evangelization. Okay. Yeah, I choose also uh, to be to be a chaplain to prison and then the prison apostolate, hospital apostolate. And as well as I choose the last time I choose I think is re evangelizing or in all the civilized company society or context. Yeah. Yeah, so they were three. Yeah, three of them. You just prison. Yeah, you know, I just want to, I just want to be open to the mission until we are, I find myself I can be able to do that. Yeah. So we can just say that uh, when you came to Kenya, did you expect all this? You had to church yourself. Oh, when I when we came, uh, the superior Father Freud took us around the whole country. So we are, we are, our spiritans are working yeah. to have the experience, to have the touch and the feelings of the spirit and mission. Yeah. We went places like Garissa, Sudan Hamu, all with other places we went and then had a feeling of what spirit and mission in Kenya is all about. So uh, with, with that expose, exposure then I became open, more open to the mission. Yeah. yeah. So at eventually you ended up landing in uh, oh, oh, yeah, exactly. We, where what you chose can be there like yeah. school. Yeah. You can teach. Yeah. You, you preach to the students. Then there is this uh, first uh, Yes. Now you learn it and you watch it and you already yeah. know it. So how is the vision there? How is life so far? <laughs> yeah, my yeah, stay in Pokot now. I, think I, went, I, went, I, I had in Pokot in 11th of uh, April, April. 11th April. So that's from there to now. I'm in Pokot. Okay, you're in Pokot. Yeah. We hope you are being converted into Pokot. Oh, Pokot is a baby. Maybe you might be somewhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. How can you tell an experience now as a priest uh, in this mission? Because Pokot is a different mission. Yeah. When you hear Pokot in Kenya, you start fearing. Oh. Because it is the condition, first of all, the weather mm. is harsh. Yeah. People there, they seem to be harsh. They, they even don't know if they are in Kenya or the house in Kenya. <laughs> yeah, yeah. By the way, we don't mean they are in Kenya or the house in Kenya. <laughs> yeah. So, how, how is it? Anyway, if one of the things that propels me to this kind of such mission is the charisma of the congregation. You know, you know, walking among the poor, rest of the poor, and then uh, going to that place where the church finds it difficult to get priests. It's one of it is one of the driving, the, you know, driving passion that uh, that is actually propelling me to 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 be there. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, for court is a quite a very a, a, a unique experience on its own. By the way, when you get to that place, you will see the plight of human beings. You see people who are living an age of life. You see people who are still living as if they are still living in the 19th century. I mean, even 19th century is still very much recent. Mm -hmm. You see people who are still you know, living backward. You know, we have people still... Uh, in some places, by the way, in Pokot, uh, my parish where we walk covers about 24 villages. And then so in some of those villages, people still go naked. Things. To tell you how yes yes I see photos, yeah, yes, photos. Yes. to tell you how interior it is. Mm -hmm. But then you see when you see these people they apply the problems that they are facing. You just have no other choice but to kind of bring yourself to this mission, bring yourself to the mission. But, but now is it is it poverty or it is their culture? Now is going like now uh, now it's not really it's not it, it's not really culture because I know that every culture cultures have been modified. Yes. Now one of the things that is kind of affecting the the, the, the is enlightenment. I would say enlightenment. Which yes. the church 
Spirit Time, ça arrive vite, je m'envoie dans ce que je vois. Ça a été une démission de mon propre sacré d'avant. For three years ago, which I know that before then I know as I heard it was so bad the way it was done. But then, it is a gradual process. It's a gradual process. People need to be enlightened. Not really that they are extremely poor, because they, they are pastoralists. They have their cows, they have their goods, they have their camels, they have all these. Also to enlighten them that these things can be sold and they can get money from them. But then you know culturally, pastoral is not like selling the animals. There's so much more than the animals. Yeah, they, 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 can, feel, they can feel happy, but it can even add life to their life when they see the animals moving around. So they always very happy see so pass mostly, like, mostly, it's not really, I would say like, they are poor, poor. they say that they can't have a club, but then uh, it's a light to enlighten them, to enlighten them, to enlighten them, yeah. 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 That's why, you know, part of the apostolate there is school, but school apostolate, okay. uh, at, at, as, as a new through which we can enlighten them. Probably there might be challenges, yeah. and uh, those good moments you have had to occur so far, the yeah. moment you have to have been can we try to talk about this? <laughs> you know, it is quite uh, You know, by the way, I'm a very, I'm a very good footballer. I play good football. So, it's one of the things that is giving me joy in the pocket is that I have a football field. And it's, it's, a, it's a tool of evangelization to the youth, to the young ones. It's an avenue through which I gather them together, avenue through which we talk and share our problems, share, you know, they come to you, they confide to you because they feel like you are one with them. So through that football, like I got the youth, then I interact with them, both the aged and the young ones. One of the things there is that uh, such mission they don't, they don't, um, they don't judge them. You know, Ipokot have unique culture in Kenya. Yeah. Uh, it's a place whereby someone can marry at at will at any age. Yeah. By the way, by 19, you are married in Pokot as, as, as a young boy. As a young boy, before 21, you are married second wife. Before 25, <laughs> you are married at <laughs> one. So, so it's something that like is a problem there. So, if you come to Pokot, if you see like every other places, you see those who are drunk as are men, but in Pokot they are mostly women. Because women carry the burden of the family. The women build house, women find food, the work of man is to relax. To be fed by to be fed by the <laughs> by the wife. So uh, it is a challenging, it is a challenging. That's why I say you don't judge them. Because when I came recently, early in the morning, maybe I go, I'm going to school or anywhere, you see some of them drunk as early as possible. And I began to see, let me know the problem, let me know the genesis of this issue. I began to see that the problem that women of that place carries makes them to kind of they want to ease off, they want to find a way to remove this burden on themselves, then they're going to break it. Okay. Yeah. So so I, the, now in the place um, is a setting to always go with them, to be with them in that place that they are mm -hmm. we go with them, yeah. Mm -hmm. We we'll talk with them. These are the reasons why they should they should find joy in them, you know? When they see me coming, they see that. Ah, they call me black on Zoom, by the way. Black on Zoom. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 okay. So, uh, how will you like to see uh, Pokot, that area, that remote village, in a few years to come? My, my prayer is that God will to remember the place. And priest, I think that's right, by the way, people come back. In Nigeria, we call it Kota, Kota, Kota. Yeah, like Tamak. The Tamak is getting. I think it's Chemoli God. Yeah, Chemoli God. Now we are praying that the Tamak goes through from uh, East Pokot to West Pokot, yeah. and then they have power. Yeah. And they have power. If they have power in electricity, yeah. it will go a long way also to help them. Yeah. And then you know when Tamak goes through, the cars can be going, and they yeah. can be yeah. seeing yeah. people. They can see. Yeah. Some of them they have never seen Tamak in their life. They have never seen Tamak. They have never been to city in their life. Some they are, they are born, they grow, they marry, ever they die there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the, 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 the government can go along, even though the church is trying, but the church the government can also put on the side them. of the congregation. On the, in the side of the congregation, oh, it will be so. I will be so much happy. Like um, the place will be enlightened, as the way we came with, with zeal to enlighten them. 
You know, Pokot is also, they don't have the culture of going to school. They can always send boys because for them, women are for marriage. They don't send their women to school. So it is for boys. Yeah, boys and then, you know, because of that place, the, the, the setting, the people are not, even speaking Kiswahili, you know, they speak their local language. Even in the school, it's a challenge. For them to speak the English mm -hmm. as well. That's what I mean. But we are kind of motivating them. You know, their women, their women, they have no esteem because from childhood they are, they, they are being trained in the family and they have been trained as to be married as wives. And yeah, that's why yeah. the early marriage issue is having is, is an issue there. Yeah. You see somebody at the age of 12 having a kid, age of 13, mm -hmm. which also was a shock on me. You know, which I will be seeing back there. But it is quite a, 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 a rich experience and as well a, a much work to do by enlightening these people. Okay, so you have responded to the question I wanted to ask you. I wanted to ask you if you have ever seen this a place looking like this in Nigeria. No, no, hey, maybe there might be in uh, your province, for example. No, no, my province, no. Can't see, okay, you can see a place like Pokot. I also use a place, that place like Pokot to motivate people, as well on my Facebook. Okay. Yeah, to tell them that life is not really, is really, is not really to have it all. You can be contented and be happy with it to your house. Yeah. Using citing the Pokot people as an example. Because they're happy. They're happy too. Uh, okay, maybe now you, you talk about uh, the, if you have something to the young men outside there now, this one is not only to the Pokotians, but you can talk to the entire world, spiritual yeah. world. Yeah. Uh, any message to spiritual, oh, yeah. Yeah. to young men who wish to join spiritual I, I, I always tell my younger spirit that vision is one of the things that is that is very important as our life as a spirit. I must tell you, all the fulfillment I have in being in the mission. Mission is post me. Mission brought me low. You know, you know in Nigeria, when you are a priest, you are being given car, you are being given everything you need as a priest. But living everything, coming to a new environment, you have nothing practical. You have nothing. You have nothing. So, you see, you, you begin to realize that what life is all about. Our life. Life of self division because uh, mission is a life of self division. You need a self division. So I'm always in, in, in calling the young students that always avail yourself for mission. There are people who are yearning, yearning, yearning for hope. People to give them hope. There are people who are yearning out there to see happiness. You give them happiness. There's people who are yearning to, to receive the word of God, give them the word of God. That is our primary aim as a spirit. So I encourage the young students to to follow that uh, line and they'll be happy as a spirit, they'll be happy as a priest. Yeah, okay. But to everybody who wants to join spirit, you'll never regret to be a spirit. Spirit okay. is very good, spirit is very wide, nice. Call one heart and one soul. That's all. Thank you. <laughs> there is something further okay. I have to ask you. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm a young man, but I wish to become a spirit, even though I might not be a spirit, but I wish to serve with the church as a priest. And there is this thing we we are aging to see. Okay. And we young men, we wish to. Like you, you chose missions like for God. We are very happy there are serving those people, mm -hmm. enjoying the, the culture there now, mm -hmm. looking at different things, new things in your life now. We came from Nigeria to Kenya. What motivates you? For us, what motivates many young men is the material, the material things. <laughs> yes, because now I want to be the same to a little bit. Yeah. Uh, that is already established yeah. and it has money. Yeah. So my, my work is just to bring in more into the mind of more. And you are very young, maybe not even more than 33 years. <laughs> you are in the bush then. Yeah. What motivates you to you. win the bush? Mm. We don't talk about the, the charisma of the... No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. What, what is this? I must tell you, you know, uh, if, you, if you are not contented in life, what, what, if you keep accumulating, even when you think you have get what it or you think you have nothing, you keep accumulating. Yeah. The thing that gives me job is like, it's when I have this phone yes. and I can make call with this phone, yes. I can chat with this phone and it does everything for me. And this is an Android single. Yeah. And then somebody has an iPhone 15. Yes. My friend, I call you, answer me, and then you call me, I answer. So, <laughs> what should I be killing myself to get those words? 
okay? Like uh, maybe you have, we see some people having big cars, big houses, big everything. My friend, when, when, uh, if I find a place I will sleep, I will sleep. Yeah, just like you said in Nigeria, they give you when you are they give you a car. Now you left it there, uh, now you are in Pokot, maybe you, you are sharing. I don't even leave, leave, leave my car, by the way. You, the communication takes it. It's not yeah, that it's in the... Somebody is driving my car now, so yes. I don't know. Even if I come back, I won't take that car again. Somebody is already, he has been given to someone. So if I'm coming back to Nigeria and I will make a call that I'm coming, they will make a provision for, 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 for me. Like for if I'm to stay, they ask me how many months I need to stay. If it is one month, they will okay, they will pro provide car for me for one month. After that I pack another person comes. That is the same as so far. There's no need of complicating issues in life. These are things. You know, you leave all those things. Jesus said if you want to be a full of mine, you have to pick up your cross and fall for you. Yeah. Yeah. And Peter says, we have left everything and follow me. We have left everything. And that's the joy of the kingdom. That is the joy of the good news. And then you know, immediately, you know, admitting those things. You know now, when you are moving freely, that's your bag, without anything, you are moving freely. Yeah. But come to reason, when you have many bags, many yeah. bodies around you, you'll be struggling to move. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I went with all those all this game for cause. I will see myself as a big man. I will need to prepare for people. But you have to leave everything. Leave those your big house, big money, big data. And you see the joy of the gospel. Everything you can say, maybe. Before I finish. So, thank you so much, my dear people out there. Uh, I must tell you that uh, I'm a happy missionary in Kenya. Kenya is a very wonderful country, very good and very conducive environment for mission, very conducive environment for anything. So, I really want to, if you really, we really want to come to Kenya, very good. We will happy wake up in Kenya. Thank you, God bless you. Thank you very much. Asana. Asana. I appreciate it for uh, this moment. So, Asana. Asana. Uh, Guys, it was Father Kalistos yeah. in the tunnel of life with Father Kalistos from Nigeria working with the Pokot people. And he's very happy as you can see him and as you can hear him talking. He's without zeal. The fire is really burning. Very young but happy in the village. Very young but ambitious. He wants to change wherever he stays, he wants to change the place, he wants to change the mission. He wants it to flourish like any other mission in the world. It has been good to talk to him and I am happy. I hope we keep on talking every now and then and you will keep on seeing him on this channel because now we have a program he will be sharing with us the word of God every now and then whenever he has time. Us. Thank you very much and keep on following us. It was Shamba Shamba on the bench. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.